Bunjalaka is really special for the Koori community and the wider community as well because it, it tells the story of Aboriginal culture, Koori culture in Victoria. And really you're, you're looking at 65,000 years or 2,000 generations of history and trying to condense that down into a history book is not something that's possible. So bringing people in to be able to share and learn about our history and our culture and who we are, you can really only do that in a face-to-face -face manner. Since the program started, we've hired about 580 people through the program in the last six years. Um, the majority have been in Melbourne. Um, the program, I guess, is not just an employment program, but it's, employment, it's a program that's designed to actually create a difference in people's lives. So you know you give somebody a job and that, that creates, that puts some money in their pocket, great. But you've got to build a career for somebody. You've got to make sure that they're enjoying and loving their job. And if you do that, you'll actually have the, the actual, I guess, the follow-on impact into people's lives. And for me, that's what the job's about. It's about creating a difference in, in my community's life. The Indian Film Festival of Melbourne, which is now in its sixth year, going into the sixth year, is just wonderful because it's got a life of its own. And um, I think the festival has two core values of diversity and inclusion. And everybody in the team believes in that and that's what we try to do. All the guests we invite, all the programs we do, all the films that we pro program in the uh, festival, they all follow that one principle. And because of that, I think we've had a huge fan following in a very short span of time. As a doctor working in the community and working within a tertiary hospital, um, we're currently you know, we see patients who come in who, I guess, have no idea as to how to access all the, you know, the brilliant services that exist. And so the Waterworld Project really kind of bridges that gap. Um, it's about filling in knowledge gaps and um, finding out a bit about, you know, what they know, what their understanding of the healthcare system is, what their understanding of health is, and really just kind of filling in the gaps for them. It's a partnership between the North Melbourne Football Club the Scanlon Foundation, the City of Melbourne and the Australian Multicultural Foundation and we all work together to provide uh, a range of programs and opportunities for young people in the City of Melbourne from refugee and multicultural backgrounds. We work across four main areas, sport and recreation, uh, civic participation, education and careers and digital skills. So I try to provide opportunities for young people to learn, grow and belong and, and be a part of the community of the City of Melbourne. A society that receives and welcomes people when they first arrive and acknowledges their inherent cultures I think is a, is a sensitive culture, it's a sensitive society and I think we are a sensitive society and I think we understand that cultures bring a whole range of things from food, music, dance, uh, religion is also part of it and an accepting and understanding society I think um, is a benefit for all of us.